one of the concerns people have expressed about about using using doxycycline after sex is that it might encourage drug resistance. And the results you presented here addressed that question specifically. What what did you find? So we looked at three different populations of bacteria that might be affected by doxycycline taking it intermittently. The first was gonorrhea. Um, and so we looked at people who had new uh, cases of gonorrhea on the study um, and looked at both culture and uh, tetracycline resistance. Tetracycline is in the same family as, doc as doxycycline. So what we found is that in the doxypep arm, um, there was a, a slightly higher number of tetracycline-resistant gonorrhea cases compared to the standard of care arm. Now, the numbers were low overall. I think it's hard to draw large conclusions. But what this suggests is that it's possible that doxypep may not protect as well against already circulating strains of tetracycline-resistant gonorrhea. We also looked at staph colonization. Um, staph is a bug that lives in the nose and throat and can lead to um, uh, invasive disease in some people. And what we saw is that giving doxypep actually reduced the amount of staph colonization um, by an absolute 14 percentage point uh, decrease, um, but we did see an increase in the amount of doxycycline resistant staph aurea. So that went from 5% to 13% in the doxypep arm. I think we need to understand really what the clinical significance is and the trajectory over time. Then lastly, we looked at commensal Neisseria, which are bacteria that don't cause disease but can harbor resistance elements. And what we found is that over 60% of people right from the get-go already had doxycycline-resistant Neisseria. So there isn't a whole lot of room for doxypep to create more resistance there. Um, but we'll, we did not see any increase in doxycycline-resistant commensal Neisseria strains over 12 months of follow-up. So I think overall what we found is there wasn't a marked increase in resistance associated with doxycycline um, use as STI PEP. So I think that's reassuring. Um, but particularly with the staph and the gonorrhea data, we're really going to need longer term follow up and population based surveillance to understand the trajectory and the clinical significance as doxypep is rolled out.